is low carb sustainable? And when I say low carb, I mean everything that falls under the umbrella. Keto falls under that, ketovore falls under that, carnivore falls under that. Now, it's happened several times where I've gotten into conversations with people and they just tell me, it's not sustainable, it's not doable long-term. That's what I've heard. And I'm like, well, that's interesting that you say that because I'm actually doing it and I've been doing it for four years. So it is sustainable, it is doable long-term. Um, I think it's interesting that people will say that or that it's just, there's not enough variety in the diet. And I think back to when I first started keto, I had loads of variety. Oh my word, because I was eating everything that would help me stay in ketosis. So loads of vegetables. Um, I had berries here and there. I was still eating nuts at that point. Now my diet has gotten a lot more narrow, but I still don't see it as, oh, I'm just so restricted and there's not enough variety. I'm not looking for a, a lot of variety right now. The food I eat is delicious. So currently, as I'm filming this video, I'm having beef all day and it's delicious. I love it. I keep waiting to get tired of it and it hasn't happened yet. I don't know if it'll ever happen at this point. I eat, granted, it's like different um, cuts of beef throughout the day. So maybe that's the variety that I need or I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I just find it funny when people will say that and they're not even doing the diet. There are people who I know have done it and they'll say it wasn't sustainable for me because I didn't have enough variety. And I'm always baffled by that because I'm like, well, if you're just doing the barest minimum of keto, you've got loads of variety in there. Maybe the variety that they're looking for though is there's no potatoes, there's no rice, there's no bread, which I always think of those as vehicles anyway. The bread was the vehicle to get the um, delicious stuff into my mouth. Uh, pasta was delivering this fabulous sauce. Well, now I have those things without the starch to go along with it. I don't need those things. I think about like when I used to have potatoes and it was like, it was a carrier for cream and butter. <laughs> so it's like, well, if I want, really want those flavors, it's like I could just do it through my coffee. So anyway, I just, I find it interesting because there's a parallel to me. Par there's a parallel in my mind when I have conversations with people about the Bible because it's a, it's a very similar kind of conversation where they'll be like, well, you know, the Bible is, you know, all about this or that. And I'm like, are, are you actually reading the Bible? And they're like, oh, I've read the Bible. It's like, well, that's interesting because I'm actively reading it and I don't see the things that you see. So I find a parallel there in, oh, keto is not sustainable. Oh, that's interesting. Have you ever done it? No. Okay. I, I'm doing it and it is sustainable. So um, yeah. I know it doesn't count for much because people will often dismiss um, anecdotal evidence, but it's like, well, the great thing about anecdotal evidence is you can try it yourself to see if it works. You don't have to wait for some study to tell you that it works. You could just try it and see. And if it works, then, then you know. If it doesn't work for you, then you know. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.